reporting you can trust. You're watching KRQE News 13 at 4. Good afternoon. CYFD says it's likely just a week away from a potential solution to the problem of teens sleeping in department offices statewide. But state lawmakers are still considering pushing forward with a plan to look deeper at that problem. News 13's Chandler Farnsworth has more from today's hearing. Sleeping in a government office is the only option some kids and teens are facing while in the care of the state. And it's a problem some groups want addressed. Ultimately, we know that CYFD is in a state of crisis. Last month, News 13 investigates reported how some CYFD foster kids have slept in 19 different offices across the state. Today, lawmakers debated stepping in. There's incredible pressure on the state, on the department, on foster families, and um, the more we can increase our system of services, the better. House Memorial 10 asks to create a new state task force aimed at getting CYFD to investigate and come up with solutions toward the office state problem. Advocates say the issue is fueled by lacking behavioral health services and too few foster families. We're tired of waiting. Um, and that an agency in crisis is not able to fix itself. CYFD Secretary Teresa Casados voiced concern about the potential task force, saying it will duplicate work her department is already doing. My only concern is that we're duplicating the efforts that we need to um, address these issues. However, the New Mexico Child First Network thinks the department needs all the help it can get. I will say that if the department thinks that this is only about treatment foster care, we have a bigger issue. Um, we need step down services. We need more regular foster parent homes. Chandler Farnsworth, KRQE News 13. The memorial unanimously passed the House Government Elections and Indian Affairs Committee today, but likely faces another committee before a possible full House vote. Well, the calendar may say it's still winter, but temperatures are feeling much more like spring. Let's get to Grant for the very latest. Yeah, it's really a beautiful start to the week out there with some of the warmest weather we've seen here across the state in a little over a month for parts of New Mexico, including here in Albuquerque. We're up